There is an ancient legend that says somewhere in the land of music, there is an angel. And only those who the angel smiles upon will become stars. Okay, let's get our interview rolling now, shall we? The recording starts now. In this exclusive interview with one of the most beloved icons, Kisaragi Akiba shares the life that inspired her music. Thank you. I'm honored that you wish to speak with me. And so, Ms. Akiba, who began her illustrious career as a popular singer, now produces the two biggest acts in the country, the sizzling Reka and the charming R3. But it was a long, hard journey to the top for the queen of song. Let's go! Kid, you managed to fool me. Excitement is good. The crowd feeds off your energy. Hmm. See what I mean? You better get ready. Hey, tell me, how are we doing out there in the booth? We're ready to go. All right, Kisaragi, knock them dead. Right. Well, here I go. Only a few more stops left on your concert tour, huh? <sighs> you know, you've been singing the whole tour nonstop. Why don't you take a nap? We've got a long drive ahead. She's never gonna get any rest if you keep up your yapping, Shiro. Keep your eyes on the road and I'll worry about our star. All right, Keiji. You don't have to be so mean about it. I think it's really sweet that he's looking out for me. I'm still thinking about those lyrics you showed me. They're beautiful. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad you like them. I really do mean it. Listen to the voice of the angel. Let its power change the world around you. <laughs> every time I read those words, my heart fills with warmth, and I know that no matter what, everything will be all right. It would be so moving if you could put that to music. Hey, Keiji, what if I use Shiro's lyrics in my next song? <laughs> sure thing. How about that, Shiro? Someday Kisaragi will be singing your words on stage. I was the top singer of my era. No one came close to matching my records. But all that pressure from the agency. Even with Shiro's lyrics, it became harder and harder to find fulfillment in my music. And I met him. Wow, 
It's beautiful. What do you think you're doing? It looks real. But I don't feel anything when I look at it. It's just surface beauty. It won't move anyone's soul. Well, I'm surprised he took the time to look up from the painting. <laughs> so you've met him already, have you? I've heard of him. He's the one that runs with the rich crowd. That's not true. He's a really nice guy. He just... <clears throat> uh, are you all right? What can I do to help? They'll cancel your contract. I'm fully aware of that fact. They would have dropped me already if they knew I was seeing you. Where will you go then? I'll figure something out. You'll need to do more than that. I know. Please, Shiro, I need you. I need you to help me. There aren't many people I can trust right now. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Listen, Kisaragi. Once you make a decision like this, you can't go back on it. And you'll give up singing? Yes. The press will jump all over this. Let them do what they want. I don't have to listen to their ugly rumors and jealous gossip because they're not getting a single word out of me. Then I'll have to find another place for you to live. Thank you, Shira. My hometown is just off the coast of the Inland Sea. My father lives there. He's a quiet old man who keeps to himself, but he's also very kind. He must be if he's your father. It's a great place for a kid to grow up. I think you'll be very happy there. I'll call my father about the living arrangements tomorrow. Sure. We're all on standby now. Are you coming? Yes. trouble if I can't convince people that their houses need a third coat of paint. wasn't good enough to support you. I would never have said that. You gave me what grand prizes of platinum records couldn't. Don't cry. Don't cry. Smile for me. Sing me a song. When I hear you sing, I feel it in my soul. I'm not 
scared anymore. We had fun, didn't we? I traveled all the way to Hokkaido to keep my mind off of you. But it's no use. My mind keeps wandering to the days when we lived together on the beach. I can't escape the sea and the memories it brings. I'm sad. I'm lonely. And I miss you. Our children miss your presence, yo. Aren't you lonely? Wherever you are? Wouldn't you like to see us? Someplace where it's warm. Where the sunshine? That's right, dear. And Papa will be waiting for us when we get there. See Papa? Okay! Let's go! We can't wait to get there! Yay! We get to see Papa! We get to see Papa! <laughs> we'll all go together. Here, I have something for you. What, Mama? Wow! It's great! Papa will be so happy to see you. And you can show him your new treasure when you see him. Shall we go find the ship? Okay. We'll be with you soon. Once we're together again, nothing will ever be able to separate us. I see you've come too. Good. <laughs> but what about my children? The man outside asked us that. But it seems you were found alone.
Thank you for giving me a reason to live. Because of you, I have decided that I want to become a singer and touch people's lives just like you did. Someday, people will talk about me with the same love in their hearts as they do you. <laughs> Things were quite different back then. Now all of a sudden I see you and you're a famous songwriter. It's been a long time since those days. You'd be surprised how many things have changed since you've left. I guess you're right. But here I am, still asking for your help. I'm surprised you had remembered me with everything going on in your life. For better or worse, I have a pretty good memory. I tried keeping track of you, but then disappeared completely. Now you've returned to the music industry. I'm happy to see you again, Kisaragi. And you, well, I'm glad you haven't changed. Reiko will be here soon. She's just getting changed. That's fine. Sorry to be so early, but I was anxious to get here. <gasps> oh my god. I can't think of a worse crime for a mother to beat her own child like that. She will probably carry scars for the rest of her life. Is your name Rika? Will you come with me? Huh? Will you come home with me, Rika? Why? Because I need you. You need me? Yes. But I don't understand. You're giving me a chance to live with you? My mother left me here. She said she shouldn't have had me. She screamed things like that every time she beat me. And my mother's cigarettes, those were the things that scared me the most. Sometimes I would lie on the floor and pretend I was dead so she wouldn't hate me as much, but it just made her angry. You poor baby. But when I stopped playing dead, my mother brought me here. I was too scared to play with the other kids until I heard your music, and, and now that you're here, I can feel my heart beat again with this new chance. I need you, Kisaragi. And if you really need me, please promise me. Promise me you won't leave. Your letter brought me to you. I had forgotten how beautiful music was until you reminded me. I need you. If you come home with me, I promise I will never abandon you. Come home with me, Reka. <laughs> Thank you for granting us an interview. We greatly appreciated your time. A colleague in our editorial department forwarded records to me that Akari and Yuki were both found by a priest on the beach in Hokkaido. May I have your permission to close the piece by saying that the angel of music tied your fates together? Thank you again for the interview. I'll be in touch should you need anything or have any questions before publication. <laughs> Thank you.
have no choice. We must tell Nozomi everything. 